Hi everyone, welcome to Comptia Network Plus video series. In this series, I will make video about this certification exam question and answer. So if you are planning to sit for this certification exam, this video series will definitely help you. So today is the first video and in today's video we will study the OSI model. So without further ado, let's get started with the questions and answer. So the question number one in today's video is that which of the following reside at the physical layer of the OSI model? We have to select three answers and the options are IP address, network switch, hub, router, network cabling, ethernet frame and repeater. And the correct options are hub. So the hub is a physical layer device or physical layer is also known as layer 1. It is a layer 1 or physical layer device, network cabling. It is also done at the layer 1 or at the physical layer and repeater. It is also a layer 1 or a physical layer device. The question number two is that the physical layer of the OSI model is also known as this is very straightforward and the options are layer 2, layer 7, layer 1 and layer 4 and the correct answer is layer 1. So layer 1 is also known as the physical layer while the layer 2 is uh, also called as the data link layer. Layer 7 is application layer and layer 4 is transport layer. So question number 3 is that what are the characteristic components of the OSI data link layer R? Data link layer is also known as layer 2 layer. So we have to select three answers and the options are MAC address, IP packet, network switch, router, network cabling and Ethernet frame. So the data link layer component or concepts include the MAC address, it belongs to layer 2 or the data link layer, network switch works at layer 2 or at the data link layer network switch is a layer 2 device and Ethernet frame the data unit at the layer 2 or data link is known as Ethernet frame while the router is a layer 3 device IP packet this is also a layer 3 concept IP protocol works at layer 3 and network cabling as we already studied it is a layer 1 concept or this network cabling works at layer 1. Question number 4 is that layer 2 of the OSI model is also refers to as and the options are transport, network, data link and physical and the answer is pretty straightforward and it is the data link layer. Data link layer is also known as layer 2, network is layer 3, transport is layer 4 and physical layer is layer 1. Question number 5 is which of the answer listed below refers to a data linked layer device designed to forward frames between network segments. So the data link are layer 2. We have to search for the layer 2 or data link device and the options are hub, switch, firewall and router and the correct option is switch. So the switch is a data link layer device or layer 2 layer device hub is layer 1 device router is layer 3 device and firewall is we can say that it is layer 4 or it is also application in case of application firewall we can also say that it is layer 7 device. Question number 6 is which of the following answer refers to the OSI network layer component we have to select three answer remember network layer is also known as layer 3 so the options are router 
Ethernet frame, IP address, TCP UDP protocols, packet and network switch and the options are the router, router works at layer 3 or network layer, IP address, the IP address works at layer 3 or at the network layer and the data unit at layer 3 or network layer is known as the packet or ethernet frame it is the data unit that uh, is known uh, that works at layer 2 or the data unit at layer 2 is known as the ethernet frame or layer 2 is also known as the data link layer TCP UDP protocol these are layer 4 protocols and network switch is a layer 2 device Question number 7. In what is the name of a network layer protocol that specifies the format of packet and addressing schemes in network communication? So again the options are UDP, IP, TCP and NetBIOS and the correct answer is IP. So the IP protocol works at layer 3 or at the network layer and the data unit at this layer are known as packets. An IP address addressing scheme is done such as an example is 192.168.1.10. This is an example of IP addressing scheme. Question number 80. Which of the following term refers to the OSI network layer? Options are layer 2, layer 5, layer 3, layer 4 and the answer is layer 3. Question number 9 is which of the protocol listed below reside at the OSI transport layer and we have to select two answers. Remember transport layer is also known as layer 4 and the options are UDP, IP, SSL, slash TLS, ICMP, TCP and ATM and the correct answers are UDP and TCP. While the IP is a layer 3 protocol, SSL is layer 7 protocol, ICMP is layer 3 protocol, while ATM is layer 2 WAN protocol. Question number 10 is that layer 4 of the OSI model is also known as network layer, data link layer, session layer and transport layer and the correct answer is transport layer. This is layer 3, data link is layer 2 and session is layer 5. Question number 11 is which OSI layer assumes the responsibility of opening, closing and maintaining connections between applications and the options are network layer, data link layer, application layer, session layer and the correct answer is session layer. So if you want to remember this instead of Instead of connection, we can also write the word sessions here. So the sessions layer is responsible for opening, closing and maintaining connections or sessions. Question number 12 is the authentication and authorization takes place at which layer? The options are application layer of the OSI model, network layer of the OSI model, session layer of the OSI model or the presentation layer of the OSI model. And the correct answer is the session layer. So the authentication and authorization takes place at session layer. Question number 13 is that layer 5 of the OSI model is also referred to as the options are session layer, application layer, transport layer and presentation layer and the correct answer is session layer application is layer 7 transport is layer 4 while presentation is layer 6 and session is layer 5 data question number 14 is that the data format translation data compression and data encryption decryption takes place at which layer Options are application layer, presentation layer, session layer or the transport layer and the correct answer is the presentation layer. The data compression, data format, translation and encryption decryption takes place at 
the presentation layer. Question number 15 is that the term presentation layer refer to layer 7, layer 5, layer 6 or layer 4 and the correct answer is layer 6. Layer 7 is known as application layer, layer 5 is the session layer and layer 4 is the transport layer. Question number 16 is that which of the following protocols reside at the application layer of the OSI model? We have to select all the correct options. Application layer is the layer 7 and the options are ATM, HTTP, FTP, IP, SMTP and TCP, UDP. And the correct answers are the HTTP, it works at layer 7 or application layer. The file transfer protocol also works at layer 7 or at, uh, application layer and the SMTP or simple mail transport protocol also work at application layer while the ATM it works at data link layer. The IP protocol it works at the network layer or layer 3 and the TCP UDP it works at the transport layer or the layer 4. Question number 17 is that the application layer of the OSI model is known as and the again the answer is pretty much straightforward by now it is the layer 7. Layer 7 is also known as application this is physical layer 3 is network and layer 6 is presentation. In the OSI model, the physical layer PDU is known as options are bit, frame, packet, segment and datagram and the correct answer is the bit. So the data unit at the physical layer or layer 1 is known as the bit. Question number 19 is in the OSI model, the layer 2 PDU is called, the options are again bit frame, packet, segment and datagram and the correct answer is frame. Layer 2 is also known as the data link layer. Which of the following answer refers to the OSI layer 2 header data? The layer 2 is the data link layer and the options are destination port number, source MAC address, destination MAC address and source port number and the correct options are the source MAC address and the destination MAC address. So the source and destination MAC address they work at the layer 2 or the data link layer or the destination port number and source port number they both work at the layer 4 or transport layer. Question number 21 is the OS in the OSI model the layer 3 PDU is known as again the options are bit, frame, packet, segment and datagram and the correct answer is packet. So packet is the data unit at the network layer or layer 3. Question number 22 is which of the following answer refers to the example of network layer header data or layer 3 header data and we have to select two answer options are source IP address, destination IP address, source port and destination port and the answer is source IP address and the destination IP address while the source port and destination port they are the layer 4 header data or the data link or the transport layer header data. While this is the network layer or layer 3 header data. Question number 23 is that in the OSI, OSI model the layer 4 TCP PDU is known as uh, again the options are bit, frame, packet, segment and data and the correct answer is segment. So the layer 4 TCP data unit is known as the segment. 
And question number 24 is which of the following answers does not refer to the OSI TCP segment header and the options are layer 4 header, source port number, destination port number, layer 3 header, sequence number and checksum field. And the correct option is layer 3 header. So the OSI TCP segment header this is a layer 4 header wire. Here we, are, uh, we have an option of layer 3, so this does not belong to layer 4 segment. Question number 25 is, in the OSI model, the layer, for, the layer 4 UDP PDU is called, and again the options are, the options are again the bit, frame, packet, segment, and datagram, and the correct option is the datagram. So the segment is layer 4 TCP PDU while the datagram is layer 4 UDP PDU. Question number 26 is that which of the following TCP flags are used for establishing a network connection via TCP three-way handshake and we have to select two answers. Options are the reset flag, sin flag, fin flag, egg flag and urgent flag and the correct options are the sin flag or synchronization flag and the acknowledgement flag. So these are the two flags that are used during three-way handshake connection making process in TCP. Question number 27 is that a limit on the maximum amount of data that can be transmitted over a network without fragmentation is referred to as in the options are BSU, CSU, data payload and MTU and the correct option is MTU or MTU stands for maximum transmission unit. So this is the maximum size of a packet that can be transmitted over a network without fragmentation or without breaking the packet. So that's all for today. I hope you people have enjoyed the video. I will make uh, the next video on the next topic of CompTIA Network Plus uh, exam. So if please subscribe and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Thank you all.